We shall never surrender. One small step for man. If I have a dream. Ask not what your country can do for you. What's the status quo of your favorite quote? Professor Buzzkill explains all on Quote or No Quote. Here we are again, Buzzkillers examining famous quotes. This week it's Oscar Wilde's Be Yourself, Everyone Else is Taken. Ah, Buzzkillers, good old Oscar Wilde, the author of so many excellent novels and plays and poems. Dripping with epigrams, Oscar entertained literary circles in London, Dublin, and Paris with his wit, often pairing philosophical and comical themes to excellent effect. Some of my favorites are, it's always a silly thing to give advice, but to give good advice is absolutely fatal. And of course, my favorite, anybody can make history, only a great man can write it. There are dozens of these legitimate Oscarisms, but there's no evidence that he ever said, be yourself, everyone else is taken. Indeed, Wilde dropped epigrams about personal identity into the dialogue of some of his novels and plays, as well as referring to it often obliquely in essays. For the most part, he discussed this in terms of being natural and the tendency for people to wear masks to conceal the way they really are. In De Profundis, often thought of as as his greatest work, Wilde said, Most people are other people. Their thoughts are someone else's opinions, their lives a mimicry, their passions a quotation. And he expressed that thought more succinctly ten years earlier when he wrote, Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. Give him a mask and he will tell you the truth. Well, as you know, Oscar Wilde is one of history's greatest quote magnets, and something as profound and witty as be yourself, everyone else is taken, was almost certain to be attached to him eventually. But did he ever say it? Well, the history of this quotation is complicated, Buzzkillers, and no one person is solely responsible for it. We're fortunate, though, because this quote gives us an opportunity to talk about one of the 20th century's most important thinkers, Thomas Merton. A Trappist monk who became one of the most widely read theologians of modern times, Thomas Merton was born in France in 1915, lived more or less all over the world, and entered the Trappist Abbey of Gethsemane in Kentucky in 1941. The Trappists at Gethsemane lived, and live, a very basic spiritual life, in sparse conditions. To say the very least, life at their abbey provides a great deal of time for self-reflection, for silence, and for contemplation. I wouldn't last a minute, Buzzkillers. But Thomas Merton did. And while there, he wrote deeply and extensively on spiritual matters, on improving interfaith understanding, on social justice, and on pacifism. And his work has been extremely influential for over 50 years. In a 1967 essay entitled Day of a Stranger, Merton wrote, In an age when there is much talk about being yourself, I reserve to myself the right to forget about being myself, since in any case there's very little chance of my being anybody else. Rather, it seems to me that when one is too intent on being himself, he runs the risk of impersonating a shadow. Uh, Although the internet-driven, be yourself, everyone else is taken quotation, is usually thought of as a humorous and witty way to encourage positive self-worth, Merton's quote stresses warnings about the effects of concentrating excessively on oneself, and of course, by saying, I reserve the right to forget about being myself, Merton argued that we should think beyond being yourself. A great many of his other writings deal with this conflict in human understanding and behavior, how to be yourself but not be obsessed with being yourself. And buzzkillers, they make for very reflective reading. Merton's work has appeared in many places, and as the internet geared up in the early days of Usenet groups and the advent of email, I reserve the right 
to forget about being myself seems to have been dropped from the conversation. In any case, there's very little chance of my being anybody else into everyone else is taken. And we've ended up with the self-affirming, but perhaps somewhat shallow, be yourself, everyone else is taken. And you see this reproduced in people's email signatures, on coffee cups and t-shirts, and on and on and on. Unfortunately, buzzkillers, twas ever thus. Interesting ideas and even epigrams get pared down and oversimplified. But go out and read some Oscar Wilde, and then read some Thomas Merton, and think about the ideas they were really trying to convey. Talk to you next week. Cut the cast. Cut the cast.